Oh, you can see my bra, but who gives a shit? Not me. <laughs> she says that she fixes it. Get it, guys. It's Jerry here, and today, today, I'm going to be talking about a bit of the past, a little bit of childhood, if you will. So in today's video, I decided to talk about what I wanted to be when I was younger, as it says by the title. So, as a kid and even to now, I always got asked by adults and people, like friends and all this stuff, what did you want to be when you, when you were younger? What did you want to be when you grow up? I never had an answer to this question because I never thought I did. I never thought I really thought about it and a lot of people don't think about it, but a lot of people do at the same time. So I always give the answer of, I don't know, I guess I just wanted to be happy. Which in theory is also true. I just wanted to be a happy human being who can find a way to love herself eventually. I'm still working on that, but at least I can say it's a work in progress. But I was reading an old book of mine that I used to read all the time as a kid. And it clicked in my head what I wanted to be when I was a child. So when I was a child, and even to now, I loved fantasy and sci-fi. They were my favourite book series, they were my favourite movies, TV shows, you named it. I loved anything fantasy sci-fi. Sci For the rest of the video, I'm just going to call it fantasy because that was the majority that I loved to watch. I did watch a bit of sci-fi, but it was mainly fantasy. Now, growing up, I used to read my, the books with my father, Del Toro Quest, which a lot of you have no idea about. It was also a TV show, which was really good. You know, I used to read that. My dad used to read me The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings and... I used to watch those shows and movies, that was like one of the first movies I can remember was Star Wars, you know, my dad was, was watching Star Trek so I used to see that around the house, all of those things. So I always grew up with a love and fascination for fantasy and sci-fi. Now you're probably thinking what does this rambling mess go do with what you wanted to be when you were a child? When I was a child there was this book I always loved and I still have the book to this day. It was called King Arthur's Knights of the Round Table. Now a lot of you are probably going to go, oh, she's a girl, she wanted to be a princess. Because it talks about ladies and how to properly look after a lady, how to properly treat a woman, how to properly save a princess. I would like to say you're incorrect. As a child, around the ages of six and up that I can remember of, all I ever wanted to be was a knight in shining armour. I didn't want a knight in shining armor, I wanted to be the knight in shining armor. And I know that's weird, but I remember as a kid always wanting to be a knight in shining armor because I wanted to do good by people. I wanted to make people happy, save the day, you know, I wanted to wear a cool shiny suit, but at the same time, I wanted to have what the, the knights had. They had honesty, respect, kindness, and honor honor was the main thing that they had in my opinion they had a lot of honor they had respect by their fellow knights by the queens and princesses and kings they were the most trusted in the kingdom and they fought the battles that needed to be fought for the people they needed to protect i wanted to be that knight i wanted to be a knight in shining armor for my friends and family not only that but for myself too and it was so cool reading this book and realizing this because I remember reading one of the pages in the book and it was saying how, you know, how a lady needs to be. A lady needs to, you know, be proper and dress sophisticated and needs to do nothing but let the men do the work. You know, this was a book made in early 2000s probably. So it wasn't, you know, that gender balance as the world is now, but we're getting there. My love for being a knight in shining armor still is to this day. I still go by those values and belief. Honor, I want honor in my family and my friends. Trust, I want to be able to have people trust me as I trust them. Honesty, I want to be as honest and truthful as humanly possible. 
I want to be able to support and protect my friends and fight the battles that need to be fought, but if needed to, just protect. I wanted to be a knight in shining armor. And yes, nowadays I probably couldn't be a physical knight in shining armor, but what would be the equivalent to that? In my opinion, that's a police officer. And I realized this, that maybe I want to be a police officer. That would be a cool job. Doesn't mean I don't love the degree I'm doing right now, which is media design. I love it with all my heart. But it just got me thinking, maybe I want to be a knight in shining armor. But just a real life version. Which to me, is a police officer or something in that field. Something in the field of protecting and having honesty and truth and all the cool things. That's not to say I want to be all like, haha, Captain America, ding ding, because I never liked Captain America. I thought he was a bit too patriotic. You know, I want to be in D&D terms, Dungeons and Dragons terms, neutral good. They're neutral to all parties, but they want it to be a positive outcome. And I believe that I can be that. I believe I can follow what I wanted to be as a child. I feel like I'm on the way. I have some of those values and beliefs. I just need to keep going. And I can make the corny joke of I just need a princess to protect. Or a prince to protect. But I've also got myself to protect too. And I think that's okay too. Because I appreciate myself and if I don't need no prince, I don't need no princess or king or queen in my life. If I've got myself and I'm protecting myself and being honest and being truthful and just, I'm being a knight in shining armor. I just don't have the chain mail and I just don't have the steel plating or whatever armor. I would have been qualified to wear in the time period. But you know what? That's okay. I don't have a sword to fight battles with or joust. But I can still do it. And I think it'd be cool if I could one day be the knight in shining armor I always wanted to be. But it takes time. I can't just wish upon it and it will come true. You know? I'm not a genie or a fairy or a wizard or a warlock but I'm me I'm a crazy kooky girl who wants to be back in the time that I knew it as a predominantly male role I wanted to be the knight in shining armor and that is why I always respected Joan of Arc she was a knight in shining armor who didn't care about what men thought she got the job done. Yeah, she burned to death, from what I can remember. But she got the job done. And I'm sorry this is like a weird ass video. But it's true. What did you guys want to be when you were kids? Did you want to be an astronaut? Did you want to be a firefighter? Did you want to be a dancer? I know a lot of you younger kids are probably going to be like, I want to be a YouTuber. Or, you know, I want to be an Insta star or an Insta model. That wasn't a thing for me when I was younger. YouTube was around, but it wasn't a thing to think about. Hmm, I want to make videos for the entire planet to see. And if I monetize them, I'll get money. Yes. That's not what I thought about as a kid. I still don't think that now. I make videos because I like to. I like to be able to sit and pile my thoughts into a video. So then the future me can look back on it. Hi, future me. You know, I don't earn any money off of this, nor do I ever want to, and if I do, then that's my reason and my choice to make. But the one thing I know for sure is that I'm going to be the knight in shining armor I always thought I would be. And I think that's a cool thing to think about. So thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, let me know in the comment section below, and please tell me what you guys thought you wanted to be as a child. I'm very curious. And if you don't mind, tell me your gender or, you know, non-gender or XYZ to see if you wanted to be a, you know, as a kid, if you wanted a quote-unquote stereotypical 
male or female gendered role. I know nowadays we've got non-genders, agenders, you know, all the varieties I know not a lot about. And I do apologize upon that. But still, it doesn't hurt to let me know what you guys think. And anyway, all right, see you guys in the next video. Whoops, sorry, guys, I'm out. Don't forget to like, come subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.